Hello, hello, hello. Let's see what I got here for you today. We got this German baby. We got the BMW 733. And this is a Majorette brand toy. It's a 164 range, more or less scale. And it's it's an early 80s, probably late 70s model. Great looking car. That's the typical Majorette wheels back in the 80s and 70s. Let me try and get the focus on this car better. All right, let's flip it around a little more. Let's see the front. That front. I think they could have done a little better with the front. Oh man, the focus is getting on my nerves. Why does it keep closing and opening? Let's see better there. All right, let's let's flip it a little bit so it gets. All right. So the front, they could have painted the headlights. I think they tried doing it very well. They marked this head, the headlights where they go. Even the BMW, you know, the special grill that they use. I, could, I think they could have pointed out a little more, you know, make it more clear. Maybe it doesn't really stand out so much because the rest of the car, it's silver or it's the color that blends a lot with the grill and the bumper and everything. But it's still a pretty good looking, good looking um, quality toy. You know, and the quality is very good. Majorettes back in the 80s and 70s, their quality of toys are really strong. You know, they came, then when the 90s come and they were making them in, in Asia, they changed the quality. But when they were made in France, top notch. Top notch cars, and I mean it. I really like them. Hope, sadly, they were never sold in America, and if they were, and if they were ever sold, they were really low quantities in mom and pop stores that would buy ship from France, but not like in a major market like in a like those Matchbox or Hot Wheels. No, no, no. Sadly, because they lost, Majorette lost a big market right there. You know. But you can't ask for everything in life. Let's flip it around. That side is cute. The door is open. Nice. I just don't like to play a lot with doors closing and opening. As a collector, you may understand that when you close and open doors too much or the hood and the it starts losing the you know the the strength and then the doors get saggy, they like drop, or the hood do not close the proper way so you know when you're a little boy or girl you want to play with a toy you close and open it as many times as you want but when you're a collector you try not to like play around with the opening parts too much all right let's flip it on now the back it's great it's funny how I always see cars these toys some of them have a messy not so good front and a great back, like the tail lights are staying out, they stand out. Or the opposite. Some cars have a great front, like the headlights and the grill painted separately, but then the back looks like everything blends together. This one is a great back, front could be better. So nothing is fully like 100%. Typical Majorette hitch. I guess all these cars were made to be pulling a caravan or or something. I love the tail lights. They painted separately from the rest of the car. It has a license plate, but I can't tell from where because I don't know them. I have people telling me the license plate exactly like from where and what area of that country. I guess because of the number of the letter that starts with it. Really good, really good information, which I really appreciate. Because I wouldn't know, and I love I love getting those informations. I really appreciate people when they come and then give me more info. Because it's good. That's how we communicate, and I always always more info is always appreciated. Okay, let's flip it around a little more. There it goes. All right. Hopefully you like this video. Hopefully you like these toys. Subscribe. Thumbs up. 
And also click that bell next to the subscribe button. That bell will let you know when I'm posting more, more videos and everything. Okie dokie, welcome back and goodbye. Many more videos are coming by. Stay safe. Goodbye.